far away from the Kansas Speedway, including Chase Elliott. I'm assuming trying to move past last week and move on to Kansas. Um, when you approach a day like this, what goes through your mind with the weather delays and such? I mean, I, I, that's just a part of what we deal with each week, man. This year has been pretty rough for weather, it seems like. I've, I haven't been doing the NASCAR stuff very long, but just my years of racing and, and short track racing and stuff, I don't think I've been through a year with this much rain, uh, which is unfortunate. But, hey, I think, I think we'll get some laps in here shortly and try to get her tuned up. Carl just spoke with Mike about the competitiveness of the 12 that are remaining in the chase right now. What does that do for you as far as lighting your fire in the 24 car? Uh, our fire is already lit. We don't need Carl to light it for us. So we're, uh, we're we're excited regardless of what everybody else thinks, and I think we have a team that can get it done. This track compared to last week, Chase, the, the mile and a half is a little bit different here. How does it play out? I, I don't think you need to treat it much differently. I mean, I, I think we're working on some good things that are uh, improving on, on our race team. I think we've had some good things in the works over the past few months, and that stuff doesn't just happen overnight. You know, it takes time to get things through the pipes and down through our organization and get it on the racetrack from the engine shop, uh, Hendrick, to our chassis shops, uh, to the 524 team. We've had a lot of a lot of good stuff coming, and I think that, that hard work everybody's been doing has been paying off. So uh, we didn't have the result we wanted last weekend, but we had a competitive car. We were a contender, and that's what we got to be. Looking forward to apply it again here in a few minutes, Rick.